Hello and welcome to my video today. About three weeks ago, I showed you the sneak peek for Ocean Link Pro on iOS. Well, today I'm going to be downloading the Ocean Link Pro beta for Android. So I'm going to be going to the Google Play Store, as you can see right here, and I am going to install it on my phone. So let's get started. And now it's installing. It is now done. Let's open it up and check it out. I'm going to place it on my main screen for easy access. All right, that looks good. Here we go. All right, I'm going to choose the log in with FOA button at the bottom. Then I'll type in my email address and password. Now that I have those entered, I press sign in. There's a little dialog box for biometric and I am going to enable that. And it continues to present the main screen. And it shows my car, got the VIN, color, registration date, and digital key available. And that's the important thing. That means it has the BLE. And with that code, I can access phone as a key. Oh, but I noticed that they've changed this a little bit. So I know that I have PKC20. So I am going to go into the settings here and I am going to click on OK. Basically, it says that if you do not have PKC20, you're not going to be able to do the phone as a key. So definitely do not press OK on this if you don't have PKC20. So now I have enabled it. And also while you're here, you could update the settings units, for example, language, distance, temperature, and then you could pick a dark or light theme. And then I am going to allow the app to use the location. And now it is connecting. And yeah, there we go. And mind you, I am sitting in my living room about 100 feet away from the car that's in the garage, and I still got a pretty decent connection for the BLE. So that's pretty impressive. And here we go. We have the standard screen with the six buttons for lock, unlock, California mode, start, trunk, and more. So let's go out to the car and check out the buttons. Now I'm in front of the car. Let me test out the functions. We have unlock. There we go. We have lock. We have California on. Let's press that. And we have California mode. Interesting. You can even do it while the car is locked. All right, so what else do we have here? Uh, can you open the trunk while it's locked? There we go. So I'm gonna close the trunk. Now, one thing you can't do is you can't close California mode from the app. So if I press it, it doesn't do anything. So you have to close California mode from inside the vehicle. And let's look at the more. So we have lock state, driver door closed, passenger closed, rear left door closed, rear right door closed, tailgate state inactive, sunroof position 100%. Then we have all windows open or closed, tailgate window open or closed, sunroof open or closed, and then we have release charge gun. So let me test uh, the 
sunroof. Let's do close. And that does not seem to do anything. Tailgate window, close. I don't see anything there. All windows close. No. So let me check to see if the car needs to be unlocked. So we are now unlocked. Let me go back in here again. Let's do tailgate window close. No, it doesn't do anything. Sunroof open or close. All windows close. No, so these don't seem to be currently active. So, so, so far all the buttons are working. I haven't tried start yet, so let me go inside the car and test that out. Let me give a closer look inside. I'm gonna press the brake pedal. And we are going to press the start button. So when we press start, we should see this lock disappear. So I'm gonna press start. And yes, so the car is in ready mode. So I can test that, close the door. I am going to put the car in drive. So we can drive, reverse, park. So we have full control over the car with the phone as a key function with the Ocean Link Pro. So yeah, so I am going to now look at the diagnostics. So let me get my dongle here and insert that into the OBD port. Okay, I've inserted the OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. And let me press on the menu here. I'm gonna go into diagnostics. We have our warning here. Performing diagnostics while the vehicle is in motion can result in a car crash, serious injury, or even death. Ensure the vehicle is completely stationary and parked before proceeding. Additionally, diagnostics could cause unexpected problems to the vehicle. So now we're gonna press continue. Owner responsibility, I understand the consequences of this action and hereby state that the vehicle is in park. Any problems that might happen to the vehicle are my sole responsibility. I'm gonna press continue and now we're scanning. We now have a view of the low voltage battery. We have 3.29 volts and that's gonna be pretty much that number when you have the car started or in ready mode. Let's see. So we are going to put the car in ready mode. There we go. All right, car is in ready mode. Let's press okay. And establish connection. So here we have the car diagnostics page. We have, first thing is DTC report. We have all the available ECUs. So you can click select all and then run them and you'll have a report for any of the DTCs. So I'm not gonna do that right now. I showed that in a previous video. It's gonna work the same. Then you can save the PDF file. Next, we have software versions. You can also do the same thing. You get all the software versions for the ECUs. FOBs and cards pairing. You can click on this and this will connect to the PKC. And you can do a number of different things. You can read the number of paired FOBs, read the number of paired NFC cards. You can also pair a FOB pair an NFC card, and you can also delete a FOB or delete an NFC card. I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't want to mess with any of my FOBs or key cards. Next, we have reset ECUs. If you click on this, you can individually reset the ECUs. Here is a full list right here.
So I don't need to reset anything. So I am going to back out of that. And then we have Windows calibration. Let's see what that looks like. Just like before, we have the front left, front right windows. We have the rear left and rear right windows. And we have left doggy window, right doggy window. We have a trunk window. And then we have sunroof. And this gives us sunroof control, open, close, and tilt. So I'm going to close that. So yeah, so that is pretty much all of the things that you'll have in diagnostics mode. There will probably more things added over time. So we'll keep track of that with future videos. All right, so that's about it for OceanLink Pro on Android. Let me show you the version number right now that I am using is 1.0.0. 1250060418. And that is the latest that I've downloaded for the Android. So, one good thing is I have both an Android phone and an iPhone. So, I'll be able to show you the software for both of the phone systems. And I think that'll be helpful because a lot of people usually there's about a 50 50 um, split between iPhone iOS and Android phones. So just so you know, I got you covered. If there's any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.